Ever wondered how billionaires make their money work for them? It's not just about having deep pockets. It's about cultivating a unique mindset. Billionaires think differently. They see the world through a different lens. They possess a long-term vision, continuously looking ahead, planning for the future, not just for themselves but for generations to come. Risk-taking is second nature to them, but it's calculated, not reckless. They're not afraid to venture into the unknown, to go against the grain, to disrupt the status quo. One key aspect of their investment strategy is value investing. They look for undervalued assets, hidden gems that others may overlook. They understand that it's not about timing the market, but time in the market that counts. But perhaps the most critical trait in a billionaire's mindset is patience and resilience. They understand that the road to wealth is often paved with market volatility and uncertainties. They don't just have more money, they think differently. What's the secret weapon of billionaire investors? The answer is as simple as it is powerful, compound interest. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill. As it rolls, it picks up more snow, growing larger and faster with each revolution. That's compound interest in a nutshell, but let's break it down further. Compound interest is the interest you earn, not just on your original investment, but also on the interest that investment has already generated. It's interest on interest. And it's a game changer. It's like adding fuel to your investment fire, accelerating the growth of your wealth over time. Now you might be thinking, that sounds great, but how does it really work? Well, let's say you start investing a small amount consistently every month. Over time, your investment will start to earn interest. The next time interest is calculated, it's done so on the original amount you invested, plus the interest you've already earned. This process repeats month after month, year after year. The result? Your money doesn't just grow, it multiplies. And the longer you let it do its thing, the more impressive the results become. That's why starting early is so crucial. The sooner you begin, the more time your money has to compound and grow. But consistency is equally important. Regular, disciplined investing allows you to take full advantage of compound interest, turning your steady stream of small contributions into a mighty river of wealth. It's worth noting that compound interest isn't exclusive to billionaire investors. It's a tool that's available to all of us, regardless of how much money we have to invest. It's a democratizing force in the world of finance, a force that can help level the playing field and bring financial freedom within reach for anyone who's willing to start early and stay consistent. So, there you have it, compound interest. It's not just a mathematical concept. It's a powerful wealth building tool, a secret weapon used by billionaire investors to grow their fortunes. So remember, compound interest, it's not just math, it's magic. How do billionaires avoid losing everything in a market crash? Now that's a million dollar question, isn't it? Or should we say a billion dollar question? The strategy is surprisingly simple and it's called diversification. Diversification is like having a well-balanced diet. You wouldn't want to eat only apples all day, every day, right? Not because apples are bad, but because you'd miss out on all the other nutrients you need. Similarly, in the world of investing, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, or in other words, invest all your money in one type of asset. Imagine a billionaire who invested everything in technology stocks. If the tech industry takes a hit, so does their wealth. But if they spread their investments across technology, healthcare, energy, and other sectors, the blow from one sector won't completely topple their wealth. It's about creating a safety net. Let's take this a step further. Diversification isn't just about different industries. It's also about different types of assets. Stocks, bonds, real estate, commodities. They all react differently to market changes. When one goes down, the other might go up, balancing the scales. In the end, diversification isn't about making a killing in the market. It's about preserving your wealth, reducing the risk of major losses, and creating consistent growth over time. Remember, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. Diversification is the only free lunch in investing, so make sure you're taking full advantage of it. Do billionaires invest in trendy stocks and fads? Not necessarily. Let's delve into the fourth principle of investing like a billionaire. Investing in what you understand. This may seem like common sense, but it's often overlooked by many. Billionaires don't just throw their money at any shiny new startup or the latest stock market craze. Instead, they put their capital into industries and companies they fully comprehend. Why is that, you may ask? Well, understanding a business means they can make more informed predictions about its future. Think about it. If you're a tech wizard, you'd likely have a good grasp of the potential in a tech startup. But if you're clueless about fashion, 
Would you really invest in a clothing line just because it's trendy? Probably not. Investing in what you understand reduces the risk of making uninformed decisions. It's all about leveraging your knowledge to make smart investments. So, remember, knowledge is the best investment. Do billionaires actively trade or do they let their investments grow over time? That's the question we're tackling in this segment. Let's delve into the world of passive and active investing. In the investing world, there are two main strategies, active and passive. Active investing is like being a hands-on gardener, constantly pruning and replanting to optimize growth. It involves frequent buying and selling of assets, aiming to outperform the market. It's exciting and dynamic, but it requires time, skill, and often results in higher costs due to frequent transactions. On the other hand, passive investing is like planting a tree and letting nature take its course. This strategy involves buying and holding a diversified mix of assets for the long term, typically through index funds or exchange-traded funds that track a market index. It's a less stressful, less time-consuming approach, and it often incurs lower costs. So, which strategy do billionaires prefer? Well, it might surprise you to know that many billionaires favor passive investing. Why? Because it offers the advantage of time efficiency and lower costs. And more importantly, it capitalizes on the power of compound interest over the long term, enabling their wealth to grow exponentially. In the end, it's not about trying to beat the market with high-risk, high-reward gambles. It's about being patient and consistent. Because as the saying goes, time in the market beats timing the market. Do billionaires go at it alone? The answer is a resounding no. Even the most successful investors understand the value of having trusted advisors and mentors on their side. Why? Because they bring to the table a wealth of expertise that can be the difference between a good investment and a great one. Advisors and mentors are like the hidden gems in the world of investing. They offer critical insights, drawing from their years of experience in the field. This expertise allows them to see opportunities or risks that others might miss, providing invaluable guidance for decision-making. More than that, they also offer fresh perspectives. They challenge our thinking, pushing us to consider other angles or possibilities we may not have thought of. This can lead to innovative strategies and solutions that set billionaires apart. And let's not forget the support during challenging times. The journey to the top is rarely smooth. Having a supportive team to lean on can make all the difference. Billionaires don't climb alone, they have a team. What do billionaires do with their wealth? A question many of us have pondered. Well, beyond the luxury yachts and private jets, many billionaires are also deeply involved in philanthropy. Giving back is an integral part of their wealth journey, not just as a moral responsibility, but also as a way to find personal fulfillment and leave a lasting legacy. Take Bill Gates, for example, who has donated billions to combat global health issues or Warren Buffett, who has pledged to give away the majority of his wealth to philanthropic causes. These billionaires understand that wealth isn't just about accumulating more for oneself, but about using that wealth to make a meaningful difference in the world. So as we navigate our own paths to financial success, let's not forget the importance of giving back. Because at the end of the day, wealth isn't just about making money, but making a difference. So what can we learn from billionaires? Let's quickly recap our journey today. We've uncovered the billionaire mindset, a unique blend of grit, innovation, and an unwavering focus on the long term. Remember, billionaires play the long game. We've also delved into the magic of compound interest, the financial phenomenon that amplifies wealth generation over time. It's not an overnight success story, but a testament to patience and consistency. We discussed the importance of diversification, not putting all your eggs in one basket along with the wisdom of investing in what you understand. Knowledge is, indeed, power. We compared passive and active investing, revealing the merits of each approach based on your personal circumstances and financial goals. We also highlighted the crucial role of advisors and mentors and the value they bring in guiding your investment decisions. Finally, we touched on philanthropy, a significant aspect of many billionaires' lives. Investing like a billionaire isn't about the money, it's about the mindset, strategy, and purpose.